Burundara Council meetings should be inclusive and welcoming for all. With an official prayer, our meetings are not inclusive and they are not welcoming for all. With an official prayer, the majority in Burundara Council says to non-believers on council like me and to those who belong to non-Christian faiths or faiths of, with other beliefs that we are not equal, that our beliefs are less important than theirs and that we are second-class councillors. In effect, the majority on this council says to councillors like me that we can participate in the entirety of council meetings, but only at the price of having to participate in someone else's religious rituals. I don't expect to impose my religious views or non-religious views on anybody else, but it's expected that it be done here. Why should anyone have to pay such a humiliating price? Why can't we just treat each other with equal dignity and respect? Councils governance rules as proposed try to make it part of the job of councillors to participate in an act of Christian worship. Not all of us are Christian and Burundara Council is not a church. Council is meant to be an instrument of secular government. We are here elected on behalf of the residents and ratepayers to work for the best of Burundara. It's not, we're not here to pray to a particular God. In relation to to being respectful to the views of others, we've heard how important it is to be respectful to the views of the majority on this council. But what about being respectful to the views of others? It was put to me mockingly at one stage by one of my colleagues that if I didn't like the prayer, I could leave the council chamber. Now, I could do that, but that would be disrespectful. And I have no interest in being disrespectful to any of my colleagues' views, religious views. I'm very happy to respect those views, but I'd like my views respected. And I don't think coming into a workplace, this is our workplace, we should be imposing a particular set of religious views.